And before we go, let's go three and out this morning. First, things have been nasty uh, between several of the Wayne State Board of Governors and the university's president, Imroy Wilson. Three board members have been unhappy with the way Wilson has handled talks over a partnership between WSU and the Henry Ford Health System. Well, that nastiness has now called the whole thing off. Wright Lassiter sent Wilson a letter saying it's all just too much and an affiliation that many thought would bring national attention to both institutions is now kaput. Uh, we've talked a lot on Flashpoint about autonomous vehicles. Next weekend, your chance to ride in one. SAE International is holding its World Congress Experience, or WCX, at Kobo. And part of it is a demo days project on self-driving cars. SAE partnering with PAVE and Data Speed to give you a turn at not taking the wheel. Now, you do have to sign up for a time slot. So we're putting the link on Click on Detroit. The dates are next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Check it out. And finally, it was stunning news this past week from L. Brooks Patterson. He announced he's been diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. He is determined to beat it, though he knows the odds are against him. But say what you want about Brooks Patterson, he has never minded a tough fight. He has been a polarizing figure to many, but there's no getting around the fact that he's been one of the most consequential figures Southeast Michigan has ever had. Away from his politics, he is kind, warm, and extremely funny. He has long been a good friend of this program and from all of us here at Flashpoint Brooks. We're thinking about you, and we wish you all the best. Meet the Press is coming up next. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time right back here for Flashpoint.